right, the party's still going on in some areas. So it's a chatter about the winners, the losers, all the details of the Academy Awards. Local author and screenwriter uh, Chris McKinney joining us this morning to talk about what can be a really tough industry. Absolutely. I mean, this is not easy for most people anyway to get to this point. Well, you know, a, a hundred things have to go right for you to even get a film made, and to make a good one, a thousand things. So, yeah. and, you know, so I'm, you know, and, and we're we're talking in the context of the Academy Awards, and it's just. I mean, they're all unbelievable films, and the fact that they've reached that point is amazing. But so even I'm sometimes, impressive. if it's if it's a, a big production, if it's a little bit unusual, we were kind yeah. of talking a little bit about, say, Birdman, for example, mm -hmm. um, how it's just the, the cinematography, the way it was written, it, the, the the idea of it uh, was so original and mm -hmm. so different that even for uh, players on that level I would imagine it can be tough to, to sell it. Absolutely yeah and it's because you you need money to make a movie and it usually takes tons of money to make a movie so to sell an idea like Birdman I would imagine um, that process was probably tough for the producers, the writer, every, you know everybody and yeah. the fact that but it's validating right it won. So it, it shows that these things are possible, and I think it encourages other people who are in the business to sort of aim high and try to do something original. And like for somebody Birdman. like you, where we're taking a look at some of your, your books here, you've six, mm -hmm. six books you've written now, uh, so much uh, acclaim for a lot, of, a lot of your writing, too, locally and, and elsewhere as well. Uh, the Tattoo, one of the books that's probably the most well-known mm -hmm. that you've written. Uh, and some of these, uh, you've, you've gone through the process of trying to figure out how to get it to the next level as well, because you're also a screenwriter. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, with, with the Tattoo, the um, movie rights were purchased uh, several years ago, and Boy No Good had a shopping, shopping agreement going, and it's just... You know, and it's still not guaranteed. Just because you sell the movie rights to a novel does not mean that necessarily the movie will be made. So it's just, it's, well, it's out there. there's a lot of steps. Okay, yeah. so tell me about Creative Lab, because that's okay. something that um, helped with your, your TV series you had out there. Yeah. And then also, um, just as far as the connections, what is Creative Lab and how did that help you? Creative Lab is a program, and it's, it's, it's I would describe it as half workshop, half um, access. So it's, so there's a... They're, they're, you know, so you get instruction. You get instruction about, let's say, just writing in general. And then what and happens access. is access is is huge. So certainly when you live 2,000 plus miles away from where it all happens in Los Angeles, um, that access is not readily available to to people. And what Creative Lab did in partnership with uh, the Writers Guild of America and people like Michael, Michael Palmieri and Georgia Skinner is they provide that access for you. They're, they're trying to build the industry more and more here. And yeah. keep an eye on, on Chris's work, too, because there are a couple of things that are floating out there as well. Paradise Broken was one of them you, you brought up, too. That yeah. uh, they're, they're going through the motions. Yeah. They're going through the motions, so keep takes, hope. Uh, yeah. And for young uh, writers and screenwriters out there, too, uh, plenty of talent here to keep working at it. Absolutely. So thank you Absolutely. for giving inspiration, Chris. Uh, thank you.